Hey, hi. In this video, I will show you how to migrate data from AWS cloud to Azure cloud. Here we will see like you know how to migrate your CSV data from AWS S3 bucket to Azure storage blob with using ADF that is Azure Data Factory. So here we will see you know we have our lot of CSV file data in the Amazon S3 bucket. We will create an ADF instance and build a data pipeline which will migrate the data from the source that is AWS S3 bucket to uh, Azure storage blob with using this pipeline. And finally, we see that you know the data gets completely migrated as it is from AWS cloud to Azure cloud. Now, I am currently in my AWS side. So that is where our source data is present. So we are on AWS cloud. In this AWS cloud, we have kept our a source data in a bucket called data bucket source side within that we have a subfolder and within that subfolder we have kept a certain list of csv file now this demo is actually mimicking the scenario so that's the reason i have kept these csv file which is now our source side now the destination is here is it you know the azure so i will switch over to the my azure subscription so this is my azure subscriptions in this one i have a resource group uh, in this resource group, I'm going to create an ADF and within that ADF, you know, we're going to build an example data pipeline which can migrate this data from this particular, uh, you know, the source that is Amazon S3 bucket to uh, Azure storage blob. To create a data factory, you need to go to the service called data factory and then click on a create data factory. Choose your resource group, give the unique name, say like demo demo aws to azure data right and then next option so i'm going to keep it default networking let it be default uh, advanced i'm not going to do anything tag also i'm not going to do anything so basically this is very basic uh, data factory are at a general level we are creating an example data factory for this demo now our azure data factory resource is been successfully created now, as part of this demo, uh, our sync is basically a storage account. So I have created a storage account here. So within this storage account, if I go to the containers, within the container, let's move that data to this particular container called test ADF, right? Uh, so for that case, you know, we now jump start uh, to the data factory instances that we have created and we're going to build the data pipeline. So to build the data pipeline, we're going to launch the Azure Data Factory Studio and from there we're going to build the data pipeline. So basically here we're going to do the building of pipeline into multiple tasks. One is, you know, we need to have the, you know, linked services and then the other side we need to build the a pipeline as well. So here if you go to the managers, so there is an option called linked services. What is that linked services is basically it's a connection. In the sense, it's, this is an instance of configuration which will carry the connection details to the respective services. So here our source is on AWS S3 bucket and destination on an Azure, right? So, so here we're going to create a two linked services for our source and the sync. First, let's create a linked services for AWS that is source side. So when you click on a create new linked services, it will take you to the data sources option somewhere here and you need to choose the services so here our source is amazon s3 bucket so i'm going to choose that and let the name of my linked services is let it be like this and here if you go down so there is a description that you can provide there is a name that you need to provide in the connect via integration runtime so let it be auto resolve integration and then in the access or basically authentication type you can give two options one is access key or temporary security credential so in this option we're going to use the access key so here you need to provide the i am user access key id and secret so to do that you know i have uh, uh, you know an i am user in my aws account so this is the same aws account where we discovered our source data that is our s3 bucket so in this one we have an i am user and that i am user has a full access if you see that right and then from this one, I have uh, built a, a, no, access key. I have created an access key and that access key I'm going to use in this uh, new linked services creation. 
So that credentials I have downloaded in a CSV file, which you can do same. Okay, basically you need an IAM user and that IAM user needs to have access on S3 bucket with other access as well. And then, you know, use that access key ID and secret and build the linked services connection. So we go to this one here, we're going to provide the access key ID and secret. So since this is a demo, I have created a dummy uh, instance of access key ID and secret and this will be deleted after the demo so you don't need to try it now i'm gonna give the secret access key as well with that options i think pretty much we are done with it now here you can there is a button called test connection you can click on a test connection so generally in the service url keep it as a default as it is shown so generally you know the successful creation of new linked index service will be marked by connection successful test connection so click on a create which will create a linked services for our aws side now with that said we also need the destination side okay consider that you know even though azure data factory is an aw uh, is an azure services which migrates the data which manipulates the data right but actually you know it does not has access to the its own services to provide the access we need to again build the linked services so in this case now again i will create a create new linked services here and then this time you know we're gonna go to the uh, azure so click on azure in the azure options you will see the lot of you know options available here so in this demo we are interested on azure blob storage so we're gonna click on that and uh, let the name equal to azure blob storage uh, in the connect via integration runtime let it be this one in the here you know we're gonna use the little bit change here so we're gonna use the authentication type equal to service principle so i have created an spn with you by going to the microsoft enter id and that spn has the um you know the data blob data contributor access on the storage account by, by default okay so that is the hint for you now i have that spn uh, within that spn you know i'm gonna choose my subscription here if i choose my subscription this is the storage account so basically as i said you know this is the storage account which we're gonna use in this demo and then in the download that is authentication references so here we need to provide the spn information so that is service principal id and secret need to be provided so those are all i have already have in handy in my uh, in my notepad so i'm copying that uh, for your reference you need to create an spn have that credentials uh, you know information uh, ready with you and uh, make sure that you know that spn has the blob contributor access on the storage account or at least on the on that resource maybe okay so then we're gonna use the service principal id and the service principal credential type equal to service principal key and then provide the service principal key which is some something i have copied again you don't need to worry about this credential which because you know i'm gonna delete this credentials uh, uh, after some after this demo so you don't need to try it this is only for demo purpose so i'm gonna keep it the service principal key here and in the azure cloud type so use azure public because we're all using Azure Public Cloud, not the other options. Now, with that information being um, set in this new linked services, you can click on a test connection. So once the test connection is established, which means that you know this connection is great. So you can click on a create new linked services. With that option, so we have now the required linked services ready with us. Now we can go to the home and try to build the uh, you know the data transformation or basically data loading. How to do that? You go to the home page and there is a button called new so in this one you want to click on a pipeline so what is this is basically you know when you click on a pipeline options from the home page of this azure data factory it will give you option where you can build your pipeline as per your need so let me um you know let me open this uh, pipeline definition page where we can build our own uh, pipeline so here let me name this pipeline as you know aws um, s3 to azure storage blob so this is my name because the name says that you know we are actually migrating data from uh, amazon s3 bucket to azure storage blob okay so with that said you know now this is just a definition of this particular pipeline um so here you have a lot of activities in the sense a pipeline has a set of activities and that activities you can use the ready-made activities that is listed by you know the microsoft azure data factory so here we're going to use the move option in that one we are interested to do a copy so basically what we are doing is you know 
under the hood it is a copy data only so let me mark it as the you know uh, copy copy from s3 to uh, azure storage blob so let me give this name right uh, now with this basically so you see that there are a lot of options that you need to fill in before you publish this particular pipeline so there are two activities you need to remember it's basically drag and drop so i dragged this and kept it in this particular uh, you know space where i need to define it now currently we are defining the general properties of this particular data pipeline it has the names description that you can provide provide status equal to activated right and the rest all options you can discover as it is now let's go to the next important topic that is basically source as i defined it or as i explained in the you know the first part of this demo so where we need to define our source that is aws s3 bucket for that now we need to build the source data set so with that you know what we can do is there is a button called new data set uh, click on amazon s3 bucket and say continue and then define the uh, what is the format of data type so basically i have a csv files so i'm going to use that csv file or basically delimited text delimited text is you know text is nothing but your csv file or comma separated values now in the linkedin we need to use the amazon s3 one linkedin all right so now here what you have to do is you have to give the bucket and the directory so what is my bucket so if i go to this one so this is my bucket i'm going to copy this my bucket name here from the url so this remember that this is the same as my bucket name um, now i'm going to put it across here and then in the directory um, we are interested on the directory called demo data and then here you go right so with this option so it says that um so this is the you know this is how basically you need to put it uh, in the source side so in, in here you can always uh, there is a tick mark saying like hey each csv file uh, contains a first row and that first row is defines the uh, basically headers of the information so like that you can find it so this is basically you know the how you need to define your source information in the azure data factory uh, pipeline so which is we are currently building so if everything is great you know when you click on a okay so it will automatically take it or else you know it will fail it now let's see what is happening in this case so what i do is you know i'm going to click on a okay if there are no bugs basically um uh, you know so it will when there are no issues so basically it will automatically set it if there are any issues so it will tell you but little bit of change here that is you know in the file path type you know here right now we have given file path data set instead of that let me give it as a wild card so what is that wild card basically um, you can give the wild card path that is nothing but our folder that is you know this is my folder where our data set is there i'm going to copy it again and and put it across here and that's it basically that's how you can you can do it okay that is a small tweak i did it on the you know on the source side with that option you know everything is great on the source side now let's go to the another side that is sync sync is nothing but target of this particular you know data pipeline now let's click on a new and here our sync is basically azure in the azure we are interested in the azure blob so click on select that and click on continue here again choose the delimited text which is csv file uh, in the linkedin you need to choose the linkedin services which we uh, linked services that we created just away right and then here you need to choose the a container that basically container is nothing but the azure storage account so what is our azure storage account if i go back to the storage account so this is our storage account of interest so let's click on this one and then uh, path the container where you need to keep the file so within this storage account we are uh, so this is my storage account and within that i have created a container of my interest where i need to uh, you know the load the data from s3 bucket so i'm gonna use that container all right so with that said you know let's let's keep it just all the default and say okay so if anything is is problem that is how you need to see it here so basically um, you know so if there are any bugs you know that is where that is how you see that it says schema import failure that is required blob is missing okay so this kind of error happens you know when you when there is a problem in this pipeline definition okay so this is what i wanted to show you here now you see that here there is a little bit correction here so uh, when you choose the linked services that is pointing to the azure blob storage here in the file path you just have to put your container name nothing else right so in our case the container name is test adf so that is what i know we need to provide and click on okay so if everything is good it will go through like this or it will throw the error just now it will throw the error that we have seen just now 
now with that option so there is something very interesting that you need to be aware of uh, in the sync side there is an option called copy behavior so you can see like uh, specify the behavior when copying the files uh, between the file systems right so now here you can have the lot of other options possible here one is actually flatten the hierarchy or merge the files preserve the directory hierarchy or add dynamic content so basically you know uh, merge the file is, is where where you want to club all the csc file with a single uh, when you want to maintain the same hierarchy you know so basically which is ex you know expected here so we will say preserve the hierarchy which means that so um, the pattern that you see right so it has the five files uh, with the name so that the same name will be copy pasted in the azure storage blob so that is what it happens now and the next all options you can keep it default in the extensions make sure that you change the extensions to csc because you're copying the csc file right so with that I said you know we you have built the you know the data pipeline in adf now so with that options what i do is i'm going to go to the publish three and uh, you can check the summary here and uh, click on a publish so if everything is good you see that there is a pop-up coming which is showing you the status of the publishing activity so if everything is good you know you see that pipeline is is successful which is good sign that you know the pipeline is successful you can find the pipeline always by going to the uh, here uh, or go to the uh, to the home and uh, here you can see that uh, the pipeline that we have created here okay now so when i click on that from this from the author page now you see that our pipeline is ready and in the data set so we have a two data set one is of course the uh, delimited text one is pointing to the aws s3 bucket delimited text two is pointing to the uh, you know the agile storage blob now uh, so there is a lot of options that you can validate so you can always validate here and there is a debug if you want to de debug it okay and there is a add trigger button that is where i'm going to do it now uh, before i do that i would like to give few more information you can always get this particular uh, you know the connection in this uh, in this format i'm going to give this json format after this uh, demo so for now let's try to trigger this pipeline using manual approach so rest all option you can just keep it okay and uh, go to the uh, you know so go to the uh, you know the go to this one particular and then you can always uh, have the monitor so click on a monitor and then here you go so it says the pipeline runs trigger runs okay so any pipeline that is running by manual trigger so that is where it will be shown here now we see that you know so basically this is a purely live demo and uh, here you go so that was like a magic because the data set is is very very minimum if the data set comes in a tbs or more than that or petabyte right so in that case the time might be more but since we have only kb of data so that's the reason it got uh, very you know it got completed in in fraction of seconds and uh, you see that pipeline is is going green and you can always uh, try to find out more information about what happened to that right and uh, so this is what basically you know you can explore and dig down into this particular pipeline now the let's go uh, go to the our our destination our sync that is the you know this is the storage account i'm going to go to the container we have targeted to this particular folder and here you go so the file that you see here that is sample csv blah 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 right that is now easily copied from the aws cloud to azure cloud all right so this is how you know i have shown you this video uh, is main for migrating the data from uh, aws to azure with using the adf that is azure data factory so with that note you know i have shown you the things need to be shown in this video uh, finally i can't request please do subscribe my channel that would really encourage me a lot with that note thank you thanks a lot and see you in the next video